but I have a question here from Jessica in an email. And this is actually, I thought this was a, actually a pretty good question. Um, and actually, I think, Guy, you also had somebody to ask you this question. It's a common question. Um, Jessica says, um, I'm a freshly licensed adjuster with Florida as my DHS. She's a Kansas resident, which Kansas does not have a license. So Florida is her, de her designated home state license. Um, she's been managing a contracting company for about seven years doing full inspections, decimate scopes, uh, insurance negotiations, managing and scheduling all repairs, dealing with homeowners and crews in English and Spanish, which I want to touch on in a little bit as well. Um, she says she's rarely walked anything over a 612. She feels like it's not worth the risk. Um, she said she could always tell from a ladder how bad the damage uh, was, especially if you move the ladder around to multiple areas, which you can definitely do, especially on like super steep roofs. Um, she said, or I'd have her roofer check things and take photos for me to review. So her question is, can I tell a carrier or an IA firm that I won't do steep roofs? Will that kill her odds of deployment? Guy, you want to tackle that one? Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, it, it, things have changed hugely in the industry in the last, since I got in and you got in, Matt. You know, when we first started adjusting, we had to climb everything. It, there was no option but getting on the top ridge. In fact, when I first started, they said, we won't pay you without that photograph on the ridge. Um, that has changed a lot. Um, I think what Jessica asked about moving the ladder around, your inspection is going to take you an extra 30 minutes, maybe even an extra hour, because you have to move that ladder from place to place to place, four or five places on the front slope, four or five places on the back slope. Um, the other thing, too, I most houses, in my experience, will have a patio off the back. So even if it's a steep roof or whatever, a lot of times you can get somewhere or on the front porch, you know, or something right. like that to where you can actually inspect that roof. It is on a light hailstorm, <laughs> it's gonna be difficult to inspect that roof without getting your nose on the shingles. Yeah. So, you know, the other thing, and I'm, I'm not a salesman or anything else, but I know a lot of our guys from the school get the goat. And right. That seems, that seems to have been a great uh, tool to use these days, because you don't need to have a 28 foot ladder, or, you know, that kind of stuff. So, yeah, pretty much if you can climb, if you can get cougar paws and you can climb, then you should be climbing. Right. Right. Yeah. I, I think, uh, and I, I kind of answered her a little bit in the email, uh, but I thought this was a great question for because, like you. You had said, said that that was what common question, you know, do I have to climb every roof? And things are changing. Um, you, you absolutely have to, I, I guess what I basically kind of said to her was, is you have to take into consideration that the insurer is owed a, a complete inspection, no matter how you do it. And number one, and number two, the IA firm, they don't know when they get a big pile of claims from the carrier, they don't know which claims are steep and which ones are flat roofs and which ones are geodesic domes and which ones are whatever. So they just, you're in this, these three zip codes, you're getting the, you know, X number of claims in that zip code, right? So they, they're not going to say, okay, well, I can't give steep ones to Jessica or, you know, or Matt or whoever. They just give them to you. If you give them back and say, I don't do steep, then that's going to, it's going to cause problems for the IA firm because then they have to find somebody else to do it. Right, so then that creates extra work for the, for whoever is dispatching claims to your manager. So I basically said, listen, if, if you see a one that's, that's steep, and even you know, I have a limit. I'm not going to get on anything higher than a 10, right? If, I, if there's an 11 or 12, that's, I mean, my life's not worth it, right? So, But I have to find a way to scope that roof. I'm not going to give it back. And I'm definitely not going to tell a carrier or an IA firm, you know, I only do, you know, up to 612 and that's it, right? Because they're, 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 I think, truthfully, I think it would basically kill your odds of deployment. They would say, well, this person isn't willing to, to find a way to do it. We need these claims closed, period, right? right? So, and that's, that, that's the bottom line, right? Find a way. Yeah, yeah. Find a way. There's a way. There's always a way. There, there's always a way to figure out a route. And I, I know when I first started, because I'm scared to death of heights, <laughs> um, when I first started, a 612 to me was like, oh my God, 
Yeah. Once I got cougar paws, then seven twelve was okay. Yeah. And then when I had porches on the back, an eight and a nine twelve was okay to walk on and get the feel of an eight or nine twelve because I knew I was only going to slide down to the porch, right? I wasn't going off the roof. Right. So, you know, over the course of, I don't know, first four or 500 claims, um, I started getting more and more sure footed, finding valleys. Those oh, valleys. yeah. Exactly. The, other, the other important thing, and you, you and I talked about this, Matt, when you were here, um, making sure you strap that ladder off. Mm -hmm. right? You can get the ladder strapped off, and it isn't going to go anywhere once you hit it. You can come down a valley and you still have a secure ladder to step onto and that kind of stuff. Yeah. That was always my biggest fear on steep roofs was getting back on the ladder more so than getting off the ladder. Right, right. And that's, I think that going up, you've got momentum going up and it kind of takes you up the slope, you know, especially if you can get that first step off the ladder. But coming down, I mean, you, do, you want to try to like, you're always putting the brakes on as you're coming down because if you get momentum going down, then you're going to keep going. And when you get to the ladder, if it's not strapped off and you grab the top of the, to the, of the, the one of the uprights and it scoots over like a foot, then, I mean, your heart's just like do -do 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 in your chest and you have to stop, you know, cold sweat. I mean, if any sane person has a natural fear of heights. <laughs> Let's just put it that way. And roofing, you know, climbing on roofs, even a flat roof is can be super dangerous. And we talked about this a lot in, the, in, in you know, what I'll mention later. Um, getting on and off your ladder, e each time you do it, climbing up, getting off, climbing down, getting off, is you're taking your life in your own hands. So that's, it's, Jessica, it's, it's very healthy to have a, a fear of this. However you do it, you know, whether you whether you have an assistant with you or you pay for ladder assist, which, you know, you can either pay for it, some carriers will pay for it. I think people have mixed results with it. But however you do it, you need to get that roof looked at properly. So. Hey, hey. Mr. Insured, how's it going? It's going great today. How are you doing? <laughs> Good. This is actually... Guy Grant from Veteran Adjusting School. So you wanna learn claims from the most experienced veteran adjusters, but you can't find anybody who will let you ride along with them? Then let me tell you about Adjuster TV Plus. Developed by Adjuster TV and its industry partners, including the high-end training center of Veterans Adjusting School in Arizona, Adjuster TV Plus is a growing library of in-depth training videos created just for independent adjusters. Learn scoping and estimating from professional trainers and adjusters. Learn how to handle customer interactions with confidence. Learn the ins and outs of scoping and estimating exterior hail claims. And coming soon, detailed videos about how to handle smoke, ice dam, water claims, and auto claims. Adjuster TV Plus also features the very best of three years of Adjuster TV's YouTube videos, ad-free. Educational, entertaining, and inspiring. Come ride along with us on Adjuster TV Plus.